you be there in the Cleveland Arena this month, the 24th of what is it, March? March. And you'll see what you take. Now, I know where you're going to take, take a beat. You don't have a chance. You, there ain't nowhere in the world you can whoop me. On March 24, 1975, just five months after the legendary victory over George Foreman, Muhammad Ali was scheduled to fight with Chuck Wepner, nicknamed the Bayon Bleeder, who was known for never being on the floor. I after shouldn't even be on the same show with you. After the 24th, you won't be on a show anymore. I'll be on it. You'll be. I'll, I'll be, be sitting here for 20 minutes and you'll come off at eight. Hey, wait a minute. I'll don't, take your jacket off. People are going to see how fat you are. Don't punch your finger. Don't punch your finger. Just before the fight started, the boxers exchanged barbs, showing the seriousness of the upcoming fight. Tell me what you got. Come on. Fight him up yeah. I'm the greatest of all times. Yeah, but he's a better talker. And you're going to be in trouble when you see this crowd and these lights, and when you meet Muhammad Ali, you're going to ask yourself, why am I here? You really want trouble. I'm going to mess up that pretty face. You're going to mess up my face. Yeah. Wepner. Muhammad Ali. Round one, the bell sounds, and here we go. Wepner comes bouncing across the ring and looks. Ali covered. In the first round, Ali showed excellent footwork. Ali showing tremendous footwork. He'll try and show his footwork early in the fight. From the first seconds of the fight, Wepner punched at the back of Muhammad's head. He could not break through Ali's block and hit illegal blows, which caused indignation of the champion. Ali wants to fight inside. Wepner tries to work to his body, comes back up to the head. Now Ali gives him some shots behind the head himself. Ali pulling some semi-clowning tactics, and now he's got some viciousness in his eye. There's the bell ending round one. We'll go first to Red Fox Red. Ali holding his fist right up by his head just to protect himself. In the second round, Ali enjoyed the superiority in speed, punching fast combinations over and over again. But he did not enter into the exchange. Closing immediately, he just received an attack in response. Right to the midsection of Muhammad Ali. There's a good, real good left hook. Tries to get through with a left jab to the face. Good combination of punches. That's an under and over with a left jab follow-up for Ali, a three-punch combination. He is red around the face from those jabs of Ali. There's a good combination. Another three four punches to the face of Wetner. There's Ali's first right hand. He just catches the ear of Chuck Wetner. I remind you, Wetner has never been down. Wetner has never been off his feet. Ali landed a good combination of left and a right hand. Wepner has tremendous confidence himself, tremendous determination in his eyes. Ali again goes to the back of the head. Tony Perez looks at Ali, warns him. Ali yells right back at Perez. That right hand looked better than it was. It was a glancing blow across the chin of Ali, but no serious ramifications of that shot. Wepner does not have good hand speed. Ali has tremendous hand speed. Just a wild, vicious right hand miss. Ali, you see him occasionally towards the latter moments of a round. There's a good right hand that goes just off the left cheek of Chuck Wepner. Ali wanted to do it. Now Ali is bouncing the left hand. That's about three in this round so far, right off the face of Chuck Wepner. What some of the pre-fight publicity would lead you to believe. There's a good right hand that spun the head around. The bell sounds. Ali hanging on. There he goes. Hitting him behind the head again. Ali dances across the ring, almost tiptoes across the ring, trying to make a joke out of this, but this is not psyching Chuck Wepner. Wepner is trying to work to the face of Ali, trying to set him up. Ali still hasn't thrown any combination punches, hasn't done a thing, laying on the rope. Muhammad Ali was in full control of the fight. In round four, he could hang from the ropes, showing his famous rope a dope. Ali again is doing what he did in Zaire. He's allowing this big six foot five inch, 225 pound giant. Amazing speed with the left hand. He can deliver it from where it is right now, the hip. Ali doing what he does best now. You know what he's doing, folks? He's resting. You can see that. You don't need me to tell you. And in the fifth round, he danced around Wepner, delivering smashing fast blows. The fans love it, of course, to see Ali move like this. Beautiful left jab. Ali, that quick twist to his body is what they call slipping punches. This makes him the last of the boxer that he is. Ali dancing around now like he used to when he was a kid. He can't do this for 15 rounds anymore. 
Don't underestimate the toughness of Chuck Webner. Don't underestimate the speed and power. And here we go, round six. The heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali working against Chuck Webner, giving him a boxing lesson through round five. Notice Ali with very little footwork, but tremendous slipping of the punch as he leaned back and dropped the right hand over the left hand of Webner. Face left, throws the right hand. Misses with the left jab. Webner wild with the right hand. Over the Chuck Webner has never been off his feet. That's not a bad record. Ali is coasting now. He knows he can hit his man at will, and he does. Two quick left hands in the face of Webner. He'll put on a flurry before this round's over. Best punch of the fight thrown by Webner, and that's to this point, Webner has won the round. The fight now, took place at a pace party. that was quite comfortable for Muhammad, and there were no signs of trouble. But in round nine, Webner suddenly knocks Ali down with a body punch. Oh, a vicious shot to the rib of Muhammad Ali, and what a surprise! Chuck Webner gets to the body of Muhammad Ali. Now let's see what happens here. We've got a counter to... An unexpected and unpleasant knockdown that definitely was not Ali's plan. Ali goes to work with the right hand. He's got Webner in trouble. A vicious right hand thrown by Webner. Ali is now going to have to get off his punches and start the fight. This is no joke. Ali was surprised to come on in the waning seconds of round number nine. Ali's final 30-second flurry is not going to be enough to win him the round ball. Here we go, round number 10. Muhammad, Muhammad entered the 10th round with a completely different attitude and carried out several excellent attacks, taking the round into his account. Good combination of punches. Wetner is very, very tired now. Ali is trying to end the thing. A vicious left at cut. Wetner right on the button, staggering him to the side, but Wetner stays on his feet. Ali hitting Wetner pretty much at will, though, now. Ali is much more serious. You can see that determination in his eye. Wetner continued to come on. Muhammad held the championship round faster as befits the legend. Ali in a surprise punch was flattened in the ninth round, but now Ali is definitely picking up the pace. Ali has all the movements. Wetner is sloppy looking, tired, awkward. Ali scoring with the left. Oh, good left hand and a vicious right, and a light left hand again in the face of Wetner. It was a right hand that dropped Ali. There's a real crisp right hand and a left. Here's a combination of punches now, ending the round. Muhammad Ali can hit Wepner anytime he wants, any place he wants. Wepner cannot return the favor. Fighting combinations made exhausted Wepner stay on his feet with the last of his strength. Wepner comes back with a punch of his own, but Ali crosses with the right of his own, snaps the head again of Wepner. Ali definitely wants to finish it here. Well, here we go, round 13, and nobody believed it would be this much of a fight. Ali looked awkward that time, and Wetner holds his arms up and says, go on, champ, is that the best you can do? I haven't seen anything dirty at all, as far as I'm concerned, thrown from Wetner. Ali now picks up the pace. Oh! Wetner missing punches, Ali scoring punches. Right hand of the air, a good combination of punches. Again, the flurry ending. Oh, there's a combination. You're right, Ali has picked up the pace here in round 14. Round 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Wetner, there's a good combination. Wetner's ready to go. He's ready to go, Ali comes on. Wetner's staggering. In the final 15th round, Muhammad Ali delicately put an end to this fight, having gained a victory by TKO. A perfect job for Muhammad Ali, who went on to shape the image of the greatest boxer in history. And still, world heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali.